Gossip is the perfect structure. It has, yeah. Talking about structure is the perfect structure because it has. It has all these inciting movement. Inciting incident, yeah. rising action. And it has all this movement. We were just talking about um, the class you teach, a gossip class, where you have well, them write a scene, well, a gossip is. scene. Um, and then we break down what gossip is. Mm -hmm. What are the elements of a gossip? And then we do, well, why is it so exciting when someone tells you I have gossip for you? Not I have a story. I got gossip <laughs> for you. You know it's going to have high Hot. drama. It's going to have turning points. It's going to have a climax. And it's going to have a denouement. And it starts on a, in a crisis. I was walking down the street, and Guess who I, 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 I bumped into somebody. Or, uh, or somebody stepped on my foot, and they didn't say, I'm sorry. Mm. So I beat them up, okay? <laughs> and then the cops came. <laughs> now, now I, I got arrested, and now I'm going to lose my children because my wife is using that because <laughs> of my violence. <laughs> you know? and, and, and you keep turning these stories around, and they're amazing. Well, gossip, we say we were talking, he says um, gossip is the perfect structure. It has, yeah. Talking about structure is the perfect structure because it has. It has all these movements. Incident, yeah. rising action. And it has all this movement that every single part titillates, right? Yeah. Every single part of it excites you. And also, I was reading this book on the development of humanity, and gossip was very important for our development. If you were in power through gossip, you knew who was for you or against mm -hmm. you. You know, it kept family stories going. So gossip, is, that's why gossip is so important. That's why a little thing of pleasure goes up in us when there's a gossip story. So the kids write these amazing stories. Amazing. You know, they're based on reality. And gossip also has that element of magic in them. Something that there's a leak in uh, almost in every gossip. Like, you can't believe somebody did that. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> what? Did she do that? You know, did he do that? And you go, yep. And, and so it becomes, I love teaching that class. And then I, I tell them, look, if you see a movie or you see a what the play or read the book, can can you say it in a gossip? So you take Hamlet, you know. Oh my God! You know what happened to all, Hamlet's father? Yeah, he was what? killed by his brother, and, and then, then he married his wife. Mother, can you believe that? They cut out. You know. <laughs> we hear that story a lot, right? Like, right. Right. Like when brothers marry uh, their brother's ex-wife. With that story, so Hamlet, that's the story of Hamlet. And then Hamlet, who's upset, you know, and he's upset. He's drinking, he's going crazy. I don't know what's going to happen to that kid. And he's acting up, he's talking to dead people. You know, he thinks he sees his father. <laughs> like, you know, like, uh, and then you go, you know what he did? He killed his uncle. <laughs> you know, that's a gossip. How did he finish? How did he finish? Well, what did Hamlet do? Yeah. Well, he wound up killing uh, Ophelia's father by, by, was by accident. What? By accident? Oh, my God. <laughs> and then he ends up dead, too. So. Kill Polonia, like, yeah, you start with And it's, all, it's a gossip. If you could turn, and I, I say, whenever I watch something that's complicated, I say, let me see if I could say this in a gossip. Mm. If I can't, then there seems to be something wrong in the story. How did you come up with, with that class? Because I think this is, like, just the best. Basically, a lot of exercises pop up because I want the students to learn something. And then I was teaching in high schools and I was telling kids about gossip. But I had never given, given them an exercise because whenever I talk to them about gossip, they lit up. You know, and this is a high school student who goes to school at 7 o'clock at night and they're sleepy. You talk about gossip, they smile. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, huh. So when I started teaching in college, I said, I want to try this. Let me, I said, you guys are my guinea pigs. I want to do a thing on gossip, and the stories were amazing. Mm -hmm. So now I always, I always do it. That's and the wonderful. stories write two plays, the gossip play and the um, and, uh, play they have and to create on their own. Mm -hmm. And the gossip plays are so much easier for them to write. And it has all these great elements of excitement, you know? And I said, take those elements, I'll transfer them to your regular plays. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to give them that. And that's how the exercise that's, came about. That's <coughs> fantastic.